kids. Yeah. It was, they, they were frothing on the board. It was cool. I, I, bet. Was, I was happy they could, could have it. So, Kelly, this was, a, this was a big couple of weeks. Obviously, you had the huge announcement with uh, ending your relationship with Quicksilver. Then you granted out a really solid result with the third. Give us just your overall uh, feelings about coming here at the markets this year. Um, you know, I didn't realize it at the time, but um, when I get home after my first couple of heats in this contest, I realized with all that stuff that happened with the announcement um, and, uh, you know, stopping my relationship with Quicksilver, um, I, I felt I did feel a lot of pressure. I felt a lot of anxiety. Um, it was a strange way to start. I didn't know if I was going to stay with the Quicksilver guys this week or what I was going to do. So, you know, for me, the the, um, the beginning of this contest was a, a little tough. Um, and I feel like I, I finally settled in. But also with it having been a April Fool's, everyone thought it was a joke. And so it kind of extended that out another two, three days. So I was taking some time to try and relax into it and settle into the contest and just focus on what I had to do and, you know, get used to not seeing a logo on my board and on my wetsuit and on my clothes and, you know, um, so, you know, right now I'm sponsored by Cocoa Beach Skate Park. That's about it. But you get in for free? <laughs> huh? You get in for free? I got this for free, actually. Oh, do you get in, though, to the park? Oh, occasionally. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Nice well, scooter. <laughs> well, one thing you are familiar with, Kelly, uh, is the GoPro. And with that said, the GoPro 